Hey guys, what's up? It's Melkozunki. So, I have made a kind of uh, executive decision to restart my Road to One Bill Slayer tab. So, if you haven't heard of this series before, I did start it a couple months ago. I know I have gained a lot of new subscribers since then. There will be a link down in the description that I want you to click on that will lead you to the first episode of the series. I kind of gave up on the series because I was at a point where I thought I would not be playing RS very much. Um, things have changed, and so I've decided that I have done a ton of slaying lately. I have built up my Slayer tab to be a fair value, and I would like um, to restart this Road to One Bill Slayer tab and eventually achieve One Bill um, GP from Slayer. If I do end up slaying the way I am currently slaying, basically maximizing profit, not really slaying that much for experience, um, it should not take very long to get this one Bill Slayer tab because I've only been doing this for like a couple of weeks and it has gone very fast. Um, so I do have an Order of Ascension task at the moment. Uh, hopefully I will get some drops from that. Um, but what I do for each of these episodes or what I'm going to be doing is basically just um, showing what drops I get if I get any good ones um, and then showing you guys the tab at the end and adding it all up, doing some calculations and finding the total values that's what we're going to be doing here and by the way just a tip for you guys if you ever are running to Curadel, um if you don't use the ferocious rings to teleport to her if you use the fairy rings like i do every time loot um at water fiends because it took about five seconds to pick these up and i made 35k uh just running to Curadel because people leave stuff on the ground all the time but anyway it's time to get into the tab so unfortunately i have not organized my slayer tab because um I keep having to reorganize it, uh, and it's a little bit frustrating, but this is the tab. It's not going to look as pretty as it did in the uh, previous two episodes of the series, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, however, I do think that it is still worth a fair amount of money, so that makes up for the fact that it doesn't look great. I will be price checking everything in here. Um, just some of the more notable drops. I got an Armadillo Chain Skirt during an Aviancy's task. I've had four Dragon Hatchets and no rings, which is kind of awesome. Um, because normally you get a lot of rings killing DKs, but that was during a Dagonoth task before the spawn rates were nerfed, and now they're nerfed, and that's not going to happen anymore. Um, a couple keystones from, I believe I've had just two tasks of uh, Ascension members, and I've gotten two keystones. I had a Queen Black Dragon task yesterday, and I got two Visages from that, from uh, 88 Queen Black Dragon kills, and uh, all these royal pieces as well. Um, and that's and I also have 2.6k dragon bones, which is a ton. But I've been getting a lot of dragon tasks and 1.2k arrow bones, um, and a ton of blue dragon hide like Ganodermic flakes. So anyway, yeah, this tab should all add up to be a fair amount. I'll just gradually start withdrawing everything and price checking it. Okay, inventory one has been withdrawn. Put everything in there, and that adds up to 9.4 mil. This was a pretty crappy inventory, but I had a bowl and shit. You know, just random junk in here, like Mithril Plate Bodies. Yes, I do pick those up. Um, not a whole lot of value in this one. Alright, next inventory here. Let's uh, see what all this crap is worth. So, I have gotten a little bit trolled, as you can see, by the six Dragon Medium Helms. Massive troll there. Um, I got some kind of junk items in here, like Mind Runes. Yeah, I picked those up because uh, I was at Armadillo, and I just figured, you know, why not? Um, other than that, nothing really of note in here, nothing huge. That is a lot of rune spears and rune plate bodies, all from Eretz, though. And here's the next inventory. Don't worry, we're almost to the good stuff of the tab. Uh, so there's 11.2 mil here, nothing of note other than the Serenic Scales. You get a lot of those from, again, Eretz and Dark Beast, I suppose. And I've also had two shield left halves, so more troll drops. And a God Sword Shard, I guess that's technically a troll drop as well. Okay, this should be, so far, the best priced inventory, and it is at uh, 30 mil here. Um, so, some of the stuff does add up a lot. Uh, for example, like, that is a ton of runet ore. Um, I believe a lot of that is from Queen Black Dragon. I've had a ton of a Abbey Demon tasks. I know they drop rune ore. It's from various sources, we'll just say that. Um, and, like, a ton of Infernal Ashes. All those rubies, those are, like, almost all from Abbey Demons. It's awesome how many rubies they drop because they're worth a lot. But anyway, a uh, whole bunch of stuff that's worth a fair amount more adds up to 30 mil. And last but not least, I have my tab that's worth the bank, the bank amount. Got my uh, Armadillo Chain Skirt in here, 4 D Hatchets, 3 Razorback Gauntlets, Onyx Bolts. Those were from Calfight King, and I technically was on a Calfight King task at the time. 
Dragon Bones, Eret Bones, two Visages, Royal Dragon Hide, tons of Water Talismans. Um, I might actually sell those Water Talismans right before bonus XP weekend, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, 127 mil in that tab makes all the other tabs look pretty terrible in comparison. Those uh, Dagonoth Bones have up to be a ton as well. So anyway, um, this is a little bit off just because Razorback Gauntlets are actually like 1.5 mil, not 2.5 mil. Um, but that doesn't really make a huge difference. And Dragon Bones have been going down. I did have like 1,000 Dragon Bones when they were selling for 7k each, but I did not take advantage of that. Um, mostly just because I have a huge problem with uh, selling stuff in my tab. I really like to keep my tab intact. And also I got this Abyssal Wand uh, from Abyssal Demons. Don't be jealous because I have killed about... 2.5k Abyssal Demons, and I got one Abyssal Wand. Um, no whips. The whip in my Slayer tab is really, really old. Um, and no orbs. So, anyway. Hopefully, I will be able to get another Wanted Orb soon. I don't think Abyssal Wands are still that much. Uh, 14 mil, I think they're crashing very hard. They're more around 10 mil right now is what I'm hearing. So, that price is a bit off. But anyway, uh, 127 mil, roughly, uh, in total in that tab. So, I'm going to add it all up and give you a final price check. Okay, and here is the final price check, 190 mil. So that was a bit more than I was expecting. I kind of guesstimated my tab yesterday would be 150 mil. So 190 mil is a little bit more than I was expecting. Um, but anyway, that's already about one-fifth of the way to uh, one bill in the Slayer tab. So uh, this has not taken very long. This has been literally about three weeks of slaying. The only reason why it's so much is because the QBD task, for one, I made like... 25 mil just from that task alone. Um, the Dagonoth tasks, I've had two Dagonoth tasks that I've done and I've made like 30 mil from those two tasks. Um, and basically just the fact that I've been playing a lot. I, I won't deny that. I have been playing a lot the past two weeks. Um, so that's all helped to make this tab go up very, very fast. But anyway, uh, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, in the next episode i will have a few drops for you guys hopefully maybe i'll get some gloves from automatons i would really love that that's the only major drop i have not had an oscillator task yet so that's a drop i'd really like to get but anyway um stay tuned make sure to watch that episode one and episode two of this series if you'd like and farewell